Uh, hey everyone, <laughs> back again. I was just going in and I'm like, wait a minute, there's something else I want to talk about. Being set up to be the patsy, right? Let's talk about that. Being set up to be the patsy, to be the bad guy. It's got to be a bad guy. Lone shooter, lone individual, uh, motive unknown, <whistles> right? So, in this case that we're going to talk about today, I don't know if you guys saw this in the news, uh, apparently Iran has made threats against um, former President Trump. And the Biden administration has come on and said, if they're making threats and if they try to act on those threats, that's an act of war. That is an act of war. So... Are the current now, questions, guys? Questions. These are what I'm going to give you. So I'm going to give you questions. Is the current administration trying to set Iran up to be the patsy because they want to? And I'm not saying that they do. I'm not saying that they do. Even though, if you look at the comments from a lot of uh, people, a lot of Hollywood celebrity types that, uh, you know, basically have called for Trump to be taken out, right? All those type of stuff. You had uh, Tenacious D, one of the front men there with Jack Black, his buddy, was saying, you know, that he hoped the next time that they tried to assassinate him that he, they didn't miss. So they don't, you know, very clear where their mindsets are and what they think and what they want to see happen. Uh, so is Iran... This is a question being set up to be the patsy. Who would really do an, another assassination attempt on Trump? Would it be some 20 year old kid that, you know, climbed up on a roof, outsmarted the Secret Service and all the police officers and stuff that were at that rally? Such an intelligent individual climbed up onto a roof where he had a, a clear shot from a close distance and nobody did nothing until after he made his attempt hmm interesting interesting you know but of course folks force of course he acted alone there was nobody else you know he was the only one and of course they took him out you know which they should have but you know instead of feeding him forever and going through a ridiculous trial and all that crap <clears throat> um, I, I like it when they take out uh, those type of people. But in this case, I mean, we already know there has been a second attempt on Trump already. Uh, possibly a third coming out of California. That one's not super clear yet, but who knows what's happening there. Uh, you know, but the possibility is there that that was another situation. You have to wonder... What are they, meaning the people that are in charge, the people that are in power, so afraid of if Trump gets re-elected president? What are they so afraid of? What are they so afraid of? Uh, you know, that the status quo won't stay the same, that he'll get rid of a lot of the illegal immigrants, that, you know, in certain places, that as long as you have an address... They're allowing you to vote with no voter ID to prove that you're an American citizen. Uh, you have New York State giving illegal aliens driver's licenses. I mean, come on, guys. You know, you got to pay attention to this stuff, and it's insane. It is absolutely insane. And people just go, yeah, that's okay. You know, do, do you think, here's a question, do you think there will be another attempt on Trump's life. Um, you know, I, I have my thoughts on that. Uh, they can, so, so here's my thought. They cannot allow, they being the powers that really be, and it sure isn't Biden, okay, they cannot allow Trump to take power again. Can't allow it. So November 6th, when the election happens, and if Trump wins, do not be surprised Okay, do not be surprised if something were to happen between January 7th, for say, I'm mean, sorry, December 7th, 
um, and January, what is it, 20th or whatever the date is for the transfer of power. Don't be surprised if something happens in that time frame. Perfect time frame, realistically, if you think about it. <clears throat> a perfect time to attack the United States would be at Christmas. Perfect time to, to pull off some kind of an event where you bring down the power grid. Winter time, when the temperatures are cold and all these people are on electric. I mean, how, let, let me ask you guys a question here, okay? I mean, we'll just use this as an example. In North Carolina, and all these people that are having all these issues, you know, in Chimney Rock and uh, Asheville and all those areas up there that got decimated by, you know, the flooding and, and all that type of thing. How'd their electric cars make out? How did their electric chainsaws work? How did all the electric appliances do? Uh, if they had gas appliances and they had their propane hooked up, right? Uh, if they have a normal fireplace that they feed the fire, uh, they could, you know, if they still had their home, I should say. Let's, you know, I mean, a lot of people lost everything. Uh, but, you know, what, what are they, they going to do, you know? How's that electrical crap helping everybody at that point in time? It's not. Okay, having old tried and true methods, which this government has been trying to get rid of the entire administration, right? The entire administration, they've been trying to get rid of this, get rid of that, tell you that what you got to do this and you got to do that. Uh, give me my combustion engine. That's what I want. I want my chainsaw that I put my gas and my oil in and it works just fine. Give me those type of products and I'll, I'll, be, I'll be happy. Uh, you know, so lots, lots of things to think about, folks. But uh, is, so again, going back to my original question, is Iran being set up to be the patsy? Because if this is the case, and let's say um, there is an attempt or a successful attempt on President Trump, now they have an excuse to go after Iran because, oh, it was those uh, Iranians that did it. <laughs> you know, let's not talk about all the politicians and the uh, Hollywood elites and all those folks that have called for the same exact thing and they put that out there into the ear of many unstable people in this country. And there's a lot of unstable people in this country. Let's talk about that, right? Let's think about that. So anyway, guys, that's all I got. I'm going to go back inside and try to ride out this weather. Be safe. Keep prepping. Take care of your business. I hope you all have a good day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.